Hello, everybody. So, um, this podcast, as you guys know, for doing this assignment, which is the box method. And I'm going to end up showing you guys how to do this in Delta Math. What you're going to be doing is putting the blue items either across the top or down the side. Did I say blue? The green items either across the top or down the side. And same thing with the blue ones. And you'll move them one at a time. And I'll show you that. But really what it's going to look like if I put, how about I even change the colors? So if I put the green down the side, that piece is the minus x. This piece is the 3. This piece could be the 4x and that piece could be the 4. Now, it doesn't matter if I go the green down and the blue across or vice versa, meaning I could go the blue down the side and the green across the top. I'm not trying to confuse you by doing that. I'm just saying which one's across the top and which one's down the side doesn't matter. Okay, I'll just go back to the way I originally had it. Now, you're going to write stuff in this box. What you're going to write in there is the product of these two things. So 4x times negative x gives you negative 4x squared. That's what goes in the box. And you're going to look at this number times this to write your answer in this box. So that's negative x times 4, or negative 4x. Then it's this number up here times this number on the side times goes in there. And then this times this goes on this one. Now, usually, normally, not always, but most of the time, diagonal things like this, diagonal in this direction, are like terms. So this is your first term. These two give you plus 8x and then plus 12. This is your final answer. Okay? Now, to show you that in delta math, here it goes. Okay. So you drag and drop. This minus 5x would go here. The minus 3 would go here. The x would go in that spot. And the minus 5 goes in this one. Then it fills out the box with spaces for you to type stuff. So that's, let's see, minus 5x squared. So that's what, uh, shift and then 2. And then that would be minus 25x. And this would be, what, minus 3x. And that would be 15. And then you hit try. It's not your final answer, but did I fill the box out right? You have at least one error that is not simplified. Oh, plus 25. What a goober. Okay. Minus 5 times minus 5 is positive. Okay. There we go. Correct. Now write the simplified answer. And notice when it did that, it showed me where the error was. Okay. So you have minus 5x squared. Then those two would be 22x, so plus uh, 22x, and then plus 15. There we go. Okay, doke. So let's come back to this and show you a couple more. So just to speed things up, I'll do it here. Minus 6x here. I don't know if you guys will like it better if I stay color-coded. Minus 6x, minus 4, and then 3x and 2, and then multiply this stuff together. I don't know if you like it to change color then. So that would be minus 18x squared, minus 12x. I know I'm going a little faster. Minus 12x, those two, and then minus 8. So then the answer is minus 18x squared. These two are like terms. And then minus 8. And that's your answer. Okay? Okay, now this style... What you guys have to do is you have to choose the size of the box. Now, I, it doesn't matter how you do it, whether you are going to orient your box this way. So there's two across the top, and that would be one, two, three, four. One, two, three. So one, two, three, four slots for this one down the side and this across the top. Or you orient it this way. Oops, I need one more in there. Okay. 
So it doesn't matter which direction, like that, oops, and there's no two in this, which direction you're orienting it. I always hate it when people say orientating. No, you're orienting. Okay, plus six. Or you're writing it as 4x and the 1 up here, and the minus 2x cubed x squared uh, minus 2x and the 6 down the side. Okay? But you have to choose the rows and the columns. And once you choose how many there are, it'll set the box up your direction. So in this one, there are two rows, one, two, three, four columns, four columns. This one has four rows and two columns. It's up to you how you want to set it up, OK? I'll just uh, I'll pick this one, and then I'll go in Delta Math and show you one. Okay, so now you're going to multiply it out. So that would be minus 8x to the 4th, because you're adding your exponents. 4x cubed minus 8x squared, and that would be 24x. And this one is minus 2x cubed, x squared, minus 2x, and 6. And before, I was telling you that diagonals usually are like terms. Take a look. Okay, and again, there's no need to circle them when you're doing your actual work. I'm just pointing that out. Minus x to the fourth plus 2x cubed. Now, it's usually, not always, okay? So just be a little bit careful. Um, there's 1 minus 8, so that's minus 7x squared, and then plus 22x, and then plus 6, okay? So it's just longer. So long, excuse my hiccup. Let's go and delta math and take a look. So let me come back out of this. Let me go to this one. So it's gonna, let's get a longer one. Okay, so you can see, there we go. So two rows, four columns, or four rows, two columns. It doesn't matter. You just count up how many you got. It's just gonna orient it in a certain direction. Now why it doesn't display two, I don't know. And then four. Okay, there it goes, and now it builds it. And then you would grab this and set it up, to, oops just like you guys did before. Come on. Hmm. Okay, well, that's interesting. Um, well, let me try to put that. Oh, it doesn't like it. Okay, let's put the one there and see what happens. Even though I placed it in the wrong spot, it should give us the right, I mean, it'll still give us the same thing. Okay, all right. And then you multiply it out, okay? All right, um, I really don't think there's a whole lot more I need to tell you guys on this. Um, I do have another slide. I'm not sure if you guys will find that helpful or not. It, it's, you know, this, notice on this one, the reason I placed it here is it's two and then four, where this was four and then two. Again, it doesn't matter, you guys, what orientation you place it, okay? Um, if you'd find it helpful, I can go to a new problem. Okay, so this is a 3 by 2. I could tell it 2 by 3. And then it's laying the long one across the top. Or I could go back and go 3 by 2. And then it puts the long one down the side. Okay, it doesn't matter which way you do it. It just has to be a 3 by 2 or 2 by 3. It doesn't matter. Okay, uh, thank you guys for your time. Have yourself a great one.